Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix lag on GeForce Now in 2021. These steps and tips in the video will drastically improve your performance while gaming so you can make the most out of your gameplay. Before the video starts, I'd really appreciate if you guys could smash the like button on today's video and let's try and hit 40 likes on today's video. If you want to see more tutorials on my channel, make sure to drop a sub and turn on post notifications so you know whenever I upload a new video on the channel. Make sure to share this video with anyone you know that uses GeForce Now and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to press the Windows button and you want to search for View Network Connections. On search, you just want to click it and then once you opened it, as you can see, I have three things here. Uh, these aren't supposed to be here. These are like VPNs. This is my internet, so I'm going to right click it. I'm going to press on Properties and then you want to press Configure and you want to go to Advanced. And as you can see, we have all of this. We want to go to Speed Duplex, so Speed and Duplex and then and you want to put yours on 1.0 Full Duplex and then press OK. The next step is also press the windows button you want to search for graphic settings one search you want to open it you want to make sure that GeForce now is in your desktop as you can see i have GeForce now there and then you want to go to you can also do this with fortnite you want to go to choose to set, choose an app to set preference and then you want to change it to classic press browse go to desktop select nvidia GeForce now as you can see it shows it here and you want to go options you want to put it on high performance this means whenever that it's running it's just going to be on high performance it's going to be playing the best it can give the best performance for your gameplay now the next step is you just want to open geforce now as so and once opened you just want to go straight to your settings okay so this is what you should see on your streaming quality tab what you want to do is you want to have your resolution on your monitors res but if it's laggy i recommend switching to 1280 by 720 have your fps on 60 and not 30 because if you have it on 30 it's going to be so bad have vsync on just to ensure that you're not experiencing any unnecessary tearing while playing the game now you want to run a speed test on the internet i'm not going to do it because i don't really can't be bothered to blur out my ip it's too long but if yours varies from 10 to 30 you want to have it on 15 or 20 and then if yours is what like 60 you want to have it on 50 just it's pretty straightforward all you need to do is just sync up the number here to what shows on your speed test i'll leave a speed test link in the description and you just want to put that down there or just like five uh, megabits down just so you like too much now guys i'm going to give you three very good tips for reducing a lot of lag while playing so stay tuned and if the first video helped drop a like on the video and subscribe Now the first tip is very important, when you make the switch you'll see a massive improvement in your gameplay. This tip is to use Ethernet. No matter how good your Wi-Fi router is, you simply can't beat the reliability of a cable. If you can't put your router in your room, I recommend investing some money into a power line or internet adapter. These tend to cost around 15 to 30 pounds on Amazon. I use an internet adapter and I'm receiving way better performance on my PC. However though, I recommend the power line adapter over the internet adapter as the power line one has better stability. For tip two, if you're using Wi-Fi, make sure you connect it to a 5 gigahertz connection. 5 gigahertz is faster but has a shorter operating distance so you may need to be closer to the router. However, 2.4 gigahertz offers a longer reach but you'll lose out on performance. Most modern routers have 5 gigahertz so make sure you connect for better performance. For the final tip, turn off all the devices consuming Wi-Fi in your house when they're not being used. If you use Wi-Fi and you're watching Netflix on your phone, not only is it a distraction to your gameplay, but it's also draining your internet. I'd recommend turning off the internet on your phone or any device in your house. This will really, really, really guarantee improvement within your gameplay and your connection towards it. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. It helps me out a lot. Make sure to use code JAFCAKE in the Fortnite item shop. Join my Discord server if you need help with anything. And uh, yeah, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.